Hello hey everyone, this is Ron Strange and more. I just thought I'd uh, do a little video here, just kind of running some trains today and thought I'd show you guys some new things I got here. We've got a scale trains locomotive coming in the mail in the morning, so kind of excited about that. It's going to be a rivet counter model, uh, a Jeevo, Norfolk Southern. I've always wanted a scale trains model, so thought it'd be pretty cool. I actually had a gentleman send me that. Uh, his channel on YouTube is uh, Sleeping with Trains. I would highly recommend y'all check out his channel. It's really cool. And uh, maybe see if we can get him some subscribers. But uh, yeah, that gentleman, he, uh, me and him talked a lot on there. And he's just a real nice guy. I just thought he'd send me that locomotive. I mean, that, that's just so cool that the railroad community, somebody another model railroad can help out with another model railroad like that i mean that's just really cool sleeping with trains you don't know how much i appreciate you sending me that scale trains devo i'll always keep it and take care of it and i'm going to film a video of it running tomorrow when i get it in the mail i'm going to try and run it with my Aether sd40 ready to run right there but uh it's going to be really cool but anyways, um, anyways, yeah, his channel is, uh, Sleeping With Trains, so you guys need to check him out. He's a really cool guy. And, uh, anyways, here I got my Water Street Freight Terminal. Well, it's done, but I gotta weather it. I weathered that roof a little bit, but I put a lot of details on the loading dock. You got a forklift and stuff under there, if y'all can see that. I went and bought a bunch of trucks. I actually went over to Randy's Dan's Trains in uh, Powell, Tennessee. And that's where I get a lot of my trains. I suggest y'all check him out. He's a real cool, cool guy. He's got a cool little hobby shop. You don't really see hobby shops like that much anymore, you know? With all the older Aether and stuff like that. Yeah, these are some pretty neat little trucks. A little in Pacific and a food service truck. And over here, I just built this after and southern trailer and that's a really nice truck with that one yeah still got my diamond coal mine over there i need to build but i'm getting ready to take all this up because i'm getting ready to build a layout in here and i'm going to be filming a uh, whole series on the entire layout build it's not going to be very big i was thinking maybe from that corner maybe to that corner you know the length of the room on that side right there so maybe like i don't know five by nine feet something like that i don't know it'll be a good little layout though it's gonna look awesome it's gonna of course have all cato unit track on it lots of mountains it's gonna have a big tunnel maybe a bridge if i can do it then i'll put one on there i went and bought a bunch of impact cars got those right here uh it's a five car set of atron impacts piggyback cars those are really cool spine cars whatever you want to call them two pack of trailers and, uh, let's see what else did i get here oh yeah i went and bought this curio cabinet i thought i'd show you guys boy i would highly recommend one of these these things are great Man, it makes a great display cabinet for trains or, well, anything, really. But, um, yeah, I went and bought that. I paid $50 for that. I got home and looked it up. It's an $800 cabinet made by Jasper Cabinets. But I thought that was a really good deal, $50 for that. I've always wanted one of these little glass curio cabinets to put trains and railroad memorabilia in, but it turned out really good. I've got my lantern sitting on top. Get all my, well, some of my trains in there. I'm probably, I don't know if this is how this is staying. I just kind of set it this way to kind of see what it's going to look like. But I went to Hobby Town and bought that caboose right there also. That was about a $40 caboose, man. That thing's really nice though. It's an Atlas. It's awesome. Of course, I got my custom Atherton Southern caboose in there I did. With my conductor on the back with his lantern and uh, I got this shelf here I did got my Intermountain Southern on there I actually found the bell off an old Mantua locomotive and painted it and put it on there 
Turned out pretty good though. This is my Poto 2000 Southern SW9 switcher. I gotta put a decoder in that. And then I've got my GP60 that has a Digitrax decoder in it that I went in detail. Got a few little end scale cars back there. I might get rid of those if uh, anyone's interested in those, I'll sell them. It's a Bachman Silver Series in and debit extended vision caboose and a Georgia Kalen Atlas Hopper car. They're both in great shape, they're not broke, and they got micro trains couplers on them. If anybody's interested in those, they can message me. But, uh, yeah, I like to collect railroad patches too. I've got a lot of those. I just kind of set them in there. I thought they'd look cool. But then I got this shelf. I don't know who makes that. That's a little wooden old briefer car. I thought it was cool. It had Southern on it. And then I found that at an antique store, that old Lionel. State of Connecticut car. Kind of neat MPC. A little weathered Santa Fe reefer there. That's an acre. And I found that in an antique store. I just kind of, store too, I just kind of threw it in there. I thought it looked cool. It's a 1950s Monopoly game. The box looks really cool though. <laughs> I thought it'd be neat in a display cabinet, but found that old Atlanta Coastline timetable. And that's an old Missouri Pacific and Union Pacific Railroad uh, notepad I found. I thought that was cool. Chattanooga Choo Choo shot glass. Yeah, I'm not done with this. There's a lot more. I'm probably going to rearrange it and stuff, but it looks cool for now, though. And then uh, I found a couple Southern Atherton New York Central uh, passenger cars here. Those actually line up. I think I'm going to make Southerns out of those. Take that New York Central off and make Southerns out of them. But anyways, I also collect NASCAR. I don't know if I ever mentioned that on my channel, but I collect those big 124 scale cars right there. I collect a few of the little ones, but I mostly collect those big ones. That's not even half my collection. I've got a ton of those things. I want to, I want to take those out and probably put my Earnhardt ones in here, but those little cards in the back back there, that's actually Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s race car cover in that card right there, and that's actual rubber tire pieces in the others. But yeah, those are kind of neat. That's another little hobby I have. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys this little display stand I bought here. It's really cool. I like it. It's awesome. And it makes stuff look so much better when it's behind glass like that. It's also got a little drawer on it here. I haven't got anything in there yet, but I might put some train magazines or train books or something in there. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to start my way I'm in, in here. If anybody's got any cool track plans or suggestions or anything like that, I'm all ears. Found a bunch of scenery stuff in an antique store too, sitting over there. A big bag of coal with them scenics and some grass and things. Yeah, yeah, that's my PS4 steering wheel and headset over there. Get ready to go get a PS4. I like to play that NASCAR. NASCAR for a PS4. I think it's NASCAR Heat 4 or Heat 3. It's really fun though. But, um, yeah, I go to that Ollie's in Maryville, Tennessee, too, a lot. I don't know if you guys ever been to Ollie's, but it's a really cool store. They got some neat things in there. I found that North American Locomotives book in there. That's got about 50 or 60 different railroads in it. It's pretty cool. And uh, all these great cars sitting over here. Yeah, yeah I'll be doing a, uh, putting a video on here tomorrow. Man. My new scale train is at Cal and It's coming in the morning, so be on the lookout for that. And once again, I thank Sleeping With Trains very much for sending me that locomotive. I really appreciate it. It'll be cherished and it will be run. So, um, I appreciate that, Sleeping With Trains. And check out his channel, everybody. He's a really cool guy. But anyway, this is Ron's Trains No More. I'll summon you know, a little view of some things I got here and you know, I got some more potato track over there too. I got some switches, some more straights. And then get ready to start building this layout. But oh yeah, I got another calendar too. I meant to show you guys my little calendar I bought. Of course there's my red rail calendar you guys have seen but I bought an 86 Chessie and Seaboard calendar. Man I love these old railroad calendars man these things are great. You can't beat these old calendars. 
I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that was the uh, Norfolk Southern's detector going off here in Athens, Tennessee. But anyways, so I'm showing you guys some new stuff I got. Pretty cool, man. I love that radio. <laughs> I take that everywhere with me when I go rail fanning and stuff too. It, it comes in handy. You know, I kind of know when a train's coming sometimes. But anyways, uh, we got my natural SD phone in there. Huh? Anyways, this is Ron's Trains and More. Remember, comment and subscribe. I really appreciate all the nice comments I've been getting lately and all the subscribers. I've been getting a lot of subscribers lately, so. Just uh, keep the subscriptions coming. I really appreciate it. And everyone that's been giving me shout outs, it's awesome. The Model Railroad community, man, it's just a great bunch of people. You can't beat it. I love it. But, uh, anyways, you guys want to comment, subscribe. I'm almost at 200 subscribers now. I think I've got 180. So, trying to get, get them up there. But, uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Ron's trains in the middle of the